Anyways, on the PCV Mackishness, who do we want to start with first? Well, I, I guess first question, Bit, we're going to talk about this more on iWorld, but you've been saying for a few months now, iOS 5 better wow you. Did it wow you? That's the million dollar question. Not really. <laughs> I mean, in, in terms of uh, in terms of, of, of leaving WebOS or other options, no. It, it had to, it had to do a lot. And the, the biggest thing for me uh, was a UI change and integration, um, the communication with the iPad and and iCloud, like uh, doing photos and, and documents, all that. No, I want I want now. Okay, what is, we, we what are is intriguing is their iMessage, which is like VBM. That's that's intriguing because then I could I could probably do you know you know messaging on that, but third party people not be able to participate on iMessage. So it's kind of a uh, I want I want the phone to be able to communicate with the with the tablet. Well, I, well, no. I said the uh, the other. I, I think the phone will communicate with the tablet better. But one of the things I was finding amazingly lacking, you know, they're they're pitching this iCloud, the i thing, we get integration, all of this stuff. And at the end of the day, the thing I came back to: okay, great, iOS devices can now be activated wirelessly. Great. Oh, get, oh, oh, get, OTA they, with OTA with something that I totally. That's a catch-up feature. No, that's no, no, not, that's the thing. I'm like, great, they yeah. can finally do over-the-air updates. Great, they can finally do better syncing. Great, they finally do what everybody... Great, it's finally caught up. But what they missed was, as far as I can tell, the Mac still doesn't talk to iOS. iOS still doesn't talk to the Mac. And, and so on and so forth. There, there's still this, okay, it's like they've cut the cord, but now the cord's digital. There's still this disconnect. It's not integrated. It, does, well, does Android communicate with Windows? And all? I mean, I, I, I don't have my Android phones anymore. And, and is what, there... what, what, what Google, the direction Google's taking Android is they're basically making it largely cloud-based in which case if you have a browser you can like, like literally if I go to the Android marketplace in any web browser and I do stuff it, 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 it I don't have to do anything it's already taken care of it on the Android side and everything I did on Android is now in this browser accessible thing here that I can access here uh, and if you're using Chrome, which they're trying to get everybody to do, there's extra integrations like bookmark sharing and everything and all of that stuff. So they are trying to make it just this seamless, largely cloud-based platform. Now, well, that, uh, then I would say, you know, that's occurring with an iCloud. Like, through Safari, you're able to do things like you can do with the application Instapaper. And uh, there's a lot of, uh, I think, applications can... Uh, Push to to your to the to the Mac and the other devices. What I'm what I'm more interested in though is handling phone functions from the tablet. I'm not interested in the tablet as a standalone device. I, that's what this comes and, down and, to. And, and, it, and that and that, a that tablet is, that as is, a standalone device. It just doesn't it, it doesn't suit me. It's 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 still it's still very much just a. a a superfluous item, something very luxurious that really, even at that, it's not even a luxury item because to me it doesn't it doesn't do things adequately. Um, I, I still can't get the full web. The experience is not as rapid. I can't type as fast. I, I find even on just little mobile devices that it, it, it's annoying just to sit there and want to, to want to do things. I want a device like with a hard keyboard so. Uh, I, I'm able to type as much as many things that I need to type, and I want to. Uh, I want to be able to now, uh, Apple expect better performance out of tablets. It's not just an iPad. Uh, Apple even even a Zoom. I'm waiting for. I've, I've played with Rim's tablet, and that's pretty damn responsive. I like I like theirs because I can tie a BlackBerry to it, and it can communicate with the phone. 
Um, but it's not as far as WebOS where I can receive text messages and phone calls as well and then totally share uh, content between the two devices, which that's the way I perceive a tablet. It's an extension of my phone. It's not a standalone device, but Apple is now presenting and saying well, no, it's that's the same device from, from, because from, there are many people from who do day, not own you know, he, he, Honestly, and we'll get into this more in iWorld. My my whole assessment of this Apple announcement was basically, "Hi, we now do what Android does." You know, at no point in the entire thing, as far as I know, you know, it's hard. It, 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 no, 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 no. It's 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 hard to vouch that if that actually happened because there were little things like anybody who was trying to stream it was getting ejected and thrown out by the Apple police, or anyone who was streaming. The, the people who were streaming this kept getting thrown out, so it was hard to get a continual stream. They're, they're really getting paranoid. They're literally like sweeping me. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, you know, I, and again, I don't have a problem with that. It, it's like you know, it's the Steve Jobs philosophy: great artists copy, good art, good artists copy, great artists I, steal, and like, and that's what they did. They stole. <laughs> I, and, you I know, think it's, it's silly. I mean, everybody is. There's things that aren't, aren't there things that we can agree on that if we have function within a phone, like swiping or pulling down notifications. Well, no, there's no, 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 there's hundreds of ways of doing these things. No, I, honestly, I have, I have zero problem with the fact that iOS now has a notification thing that's all but identical to what Android has had since version 1.0. Sure. I like it. That's why I use Android. I'm glad iOS users now have that. You know? Yeah. I mean, I, and, I, and that also goes for, for the Apple side of things. If, if other people seem to say, oh, well, this is copying iOS, they're fine. I mean, there's certain things that we just got to let go, let the patents lay where they, where they stay and not bring them up. And let's move on for the consumer, for crying out loud, not worry about uh, all these things. I, I, I did watch that in the blogosphere. As the entire keynote was going, everybody was like, wow. Show us something that Android doesn't do already. Yeah, uh, no, it's like. It, it, but it is nice that, that Apple is, is uh, doing a lot of the cloud services. They're trying to it gives Google some competition. I think that's good. Well, no, but uh, get, get, get in, I, 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 well, I'm not sure about the competition part, but we'll we'll just have to see not how yet, that shapes. Yeah, at least so. it's something they've got. Uh, yeah, it, just it, network it, starting. Now, no, Apple, no, when, it, Apple, when Apple has the content. No, and, and they and they and they can make they can make an offering of that, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens there. One of the things. Uh, I, all I have to say is, I'm glad that Apple implemented those features, but I wish they could do some actual innovating too. You know. Yeah, well, I think Apple's changed gears on that. Uh, uh, they did. They have done one piece of innovation. And that is, they have the, they, no, no, they have declared war on the Hackintosh. They did it very silently, but they have, by, yes, by, by forcing Lion through the App Store. Yeah. However, however, that, that's not a total kill to the, to the, uh, the Hackintosh. I know for a fact now that you can get a DMG bootable image from, from Lion and, and burn it to, to burn it to DV, uh, okay. to a DV. No, see that that there are ways around. <laughs> the, no, no. Here's the thing. I honestly want to know on that through the marketplace only thing. Okay. Um, Does it check your serial number? No, 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 no. That that's not what I'm concerned about. What I'm concerned about is the is a problem that is a real problem right now for the majority of Windows users. The majority of Windows users they buy their computer. It came with Windows already installed. They have no Windows disk, no recovery medium. Wait Some a minute, they're supposed to have an OEM installed disk. No, no. Windows computers have not come with OEM installed disk for over three years. They have a recovery. Uh, they have a recovery ISO partition if they know to burn oh, it. Okay, yeah. So oh, if I something see. happens to that computer before they do that, they're just SOL. They have what nothing. What is the OEM's responsibility if the if the drive that holds a partition crashes? Nothing. Fuck you. Nothing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's, and it's, to me, it's been a real problem because the only thing you can burn off of that partition is a factory restore ISO. To actually repair a Windows system, you have to actually go buy an actual Windows disk that lets you do things like well, repair. Well, I would say and, that and, Lion has a one-up on that because once you do purchase it with your Apple ID, you can re-download it. What if you use 
Uh, well, no, 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 no. But bit, that, that, bit, that's not what I'm concerned about. Okay, this is going into something that no Mac user wants to admit, but the reality is Macs can crash and hard and, and hard drives can go of bad. Did you watch my video bitching about the whole thing about not making a, a, a disk install? I have a whole video. <laughs> that I published yesterday. Yeah, I, I, dude, I've been, I, I've been living under a rock the last 24 hours. I, I think I'm going to have fun watching that. Um, oh, yeah. But, uh, oh, I even made a Twitter post that, uh, I think it was Jeff Bezos who said, Apple should, uh, here's this is just the, this is the entire Twitter post. Apple should have said, no more install DVDs because we are now post optical. And so OS 10 line will now come on a flash drive. Applause and cheers. <laughs> yeah, well, no, but see, no, he, he bit, must be a smart ass. You but know. no, but here's my honest concern with that, okay? Um, my concern with that is this. As far as I understand it, you basically need a working version of OS X with the OS X marking, with the OS X marketplace to, ins to yes. get, to get, to get, to get Lion and install it. Okay. Right, you need Snow Leopard. Correct. Uh, okay, but l l let me paint a hypothetical scenario, which isn't beyond the realm of possibilities and will be the realm of possibilities in a few months when Lion launches. I get my brand new Mac. It comes pre-installed with Lion. Lion is my operating system that came with my Mac. Something happens to my Mac. And I screw it up, I install something I shouldn't, the OS crashes, my hard drive breaks. How do I get Lion back without going to a Mac store? Well, you'd have to, you'd have to essentially, uh... I'd have to go buy <laughs> Snow Leopard? Yeah, but without going to a Mac store? Jeez. Um... I don't know. I guess if you a, a normal user, a normal user, I don't, I don't see how they. Uh, well, if they're, if they're using Time Machine on an external drive, um, like my parents do, they could replace the image easily uh, on the new hard drive. Uh, okay, but, but you not, know, we're, we're making the that, we're making the assumption there that they're backing up like they're supposed to, and how many users actually yeah, do you that, you know? Hey, you're gonna, you're gonna, can we pause the show? Cause no, because I gotta, I gotta Okay. Now shut up. <laughs> okay. Hey, temporary pause, everybody. Everybody freeze. It, it's summertime, so the kids get to stay up later. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was something like that, man. But, okay, but, no, but that, that, that's my concern because I've seen this happen to Windows users, and I was kind of glad that this wasn't a problem for OS 10 and Linux users. But now it's a problem for OS 10. I mean, yeah. It, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna burn the DVD. I already actually have the uh, OS 10. I mean, line already anyway. I mean, the developer version. So, um, the. Yeah, I, 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 figure, I figured you would. You, know, you need to decide how much of that you can actually talk about without getting in trouble on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, um, the, basically, the, the normal user, I hope, uses just a backup. I would suggest that if they're really a normal Apple user, not folks, with an external uh, drive using Time Machine and if it bat, if if it crashes, then uh, you can replace the disk image. So. Okay. But it's now it's now compulsory because it's like you, you're not going to have that OS 10 disk as a fallback. I know that is it sucks. You know it. Uh, you lose the drive. You lose the, those tools, and of course. Well, uh, okay. I, I wonder if Time Machine does the disk image. I don't know if it does. If it will do that partition. Oh, we don't know. Yeah, you know, I'm scared. I don't know. I really hope it really seems like the Mac Pro may be on the chopping block in the future. I don't know. Well, no, and, and, you know, and they all but said as much at this announcement. You know, before they were preaching, you know, where are you going to put it all? You're going to put it on your media hub. And they were like pitching, you need a Mac Pro. You need it to be the hub of everything. And now they're pitching. Nobody needs a hub. Nobody needs to know anything. It just all. Well, you know, call me crazy again. But <laughs> if everything really goes mobile and they have all this other stuff, and, 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 and us pro users become such a niche where their mass base uh, the Apple consumer does not really require things that, like a programmer. They might just license out that part of OS X to run another hardware. Oh, well. 
No. They'll just discontinue it. Wishful thinking. They discontinue it. Did you see um, uh, uh, Final Cut 10? You know, it's really nothing compared with um, Adobe's uh, Premiere, you know? Yeah. And we'll, we'll I, I'm just working on it. I don't know. I, I'm gonna. I really. If they chop the Mac Pro. I guess I'll have this. I guess what I'll do is I'll buy the the last, the latest version that they offer, and run it with it for years until it dies. I don't know. I mean, I I can't. Uh, I can't deal with that. Well, and, and something. Honestly, something that wouldn't surprise me is if at some point in the next three years or so, Apple switches over to ARM. Well, that's that's not good. Hold on, just a second. Everybody freeze! What would happen again? Oh, it's not working. He's staring off to the side. It's the side. The side stare. Everybody's side it's my, it's my son I'm talking to. Uh, <laughs> can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Alright, no, it's, you know, it, I, 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 I have mixed feelings about this cloud thing, you know. We'll, we'll talk more about that in my world. It, it's just, you know, it, I, I'm glad Apple caught up. You know, they needed to. They desperately needed to. I'm glad, but I, I'm still, I'm a little underwhelmed. At, at if they are, if they really get the league they need to be in to stay in this market or not, you know, it, it's. I, I don't think they're gonna like go away or anything. It's just like. It's, I, I, I really hope they don't ever get rid of the Mac Pro. I mean, I I keep hearing rumors now about that happening. I mean, they chopped the excerpt, really and and now and now it's the server, which is kind of weird. But it, really, all it is is that you go and you buy. The application services and they inst in install on top of and that's your server. It's kind of, it reminds me of the old days of uh, when Windows X, the Windows XP users would get the personal web server. You download that little application and then you could you would you could turn your uh, XP edition into a little light server. I mean that's what it reminds me. Well, but you know at the end of the day, Apple is becoming more and more an appliance company, and mm -hmm. their target user is. You know, it, you know, it's 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 akin to what's well, going on in the I web, and it. No, 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 Kami, Kami, tech technology appliances. You know, it's akin to the same thing that's going on in the web and programming business. The the reality is, hey, Steve Jobs said he demoted the Mac. To just a device. Yeah, no, no, no. See, like I said, Apple is becoming an appliance company. They're, they're, the the Mac computer they want to make is just another appliance. They don't want to make a computer. A computer is too hard. It's too complex. Nobody wants a computer. 